you mean you want me to get you an escort? Yeah. It seems like it'd be a good way to get experience. Wait, wait a minute. What, what, what about this girl, Allie? I mean, you said that she liked you and you like her. Why don't you go down that road and give it a chance, see where it goes? You know why, Jason? You were in Pentonville with me. I'm too messed up. My first time to be with someone like Allie. You know, if I was a normal guy, me and Allie would probably get close at the party, but I'm not a normal guy. You just gotta give yourself a chance. I can't risk it, Jason. Look, Allie knows that I went to Pentonville and she's cool with that, but... She has no idea what happens in a place like that. None of the other guys do. Nobody does. No one understands how I feel, Jason. It's the only... That's what you like, that's why you gotta take things slow and you can't rush into anything, you can't force anything. When I was being friendly and she, she gets close to me, I just, how I react. I snap without even meaning to. What if I lose it on her sometime and, and I hit her before I can stop yeah, myself? See, right now you're, you're actually, you're trying to protect her. And that means you will. Like the first time with a girl is, is scary for any guy. That's my point, Jason. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen with Allie, but that's exactly why I need to be with a woman that I have no feelings for. So I don't feel bad about hurting her or, or rejecting her. It's, yeah, but it's I just some, don't think the answer is calling some random escort service. That's why I'm asking for your help. But Jason, if you don't help me, I'm gonna do it by myself. Hi. Gosh, I'm sorry, Michael. Um... Can I talk to Jason? Yeah, no, that's fine. I have to, uh, we'll, we'll talk later. Yeah, just don't do anything before we talk. I was listening to your conversation. And I think I have a way to help Michael. Michael struggles every day with what happened to him in prison. He's afraid of his capacity for violence because of the moves I taught him. He's already lashed out at a few people without even thinking. Exactly. And, and Michael doesn't want to do that to a girl that he likes. He's trying to do the right yeah, thing. I just don't think hiring a girl is the answer. Jason, it just, it might take the pressure yeah, off. Yeah, but it's not going to erase the hell that he's been through and make it any easier for, for him to be around a girl his own age. Michael is definitely not ready to jump into a normal relationship, and he knows it. He's not even ready to go see a shrink for what happened in Pentonville if... Maybe, just maybe, it might be better for him to go with a woman with experience who could be gentle and caring rather than a teenage girl who, who's going to be just as inexperienced and nervous as, as he is. Imagine if Allie pushed the wrong button. I think she already did once. Okay, well, if Michael is struggling with this already, can you imagine if something sexual happened? Allie would, would get upset. And Michael would feel horrible. I just think he needs to take it slow, that's all. Just yes, slow. Yes, Jason, but he's asking for your help. And if you don't, he's going to go out and do it on his own. Do you want that? No, I don't know. I just, I just think this whole thing's a bad idea. I know this girl. Her name, her name is Candy. I, I worked with her undercover. She's going to college. She's trying to do the right thing. Jason, she just may be the perfect girl for Michael. General Hospital will continue in a moment, here on ABC. Hey. Hey. Hi. Sam, uh, why did you want to meet me? Oh, come on, come in. I gotta talk to you. Okay, so I overheard at Jason's, and I know you're nervous about being with a girl, and I just wanted to let you know that I completely understand. Um, Sam, I'm handling it. It's fine. Yeah, I know. By, by asking for help and trusting your instincts and the first time thing is really awkward on the best of circumstances and considering everything that you've been through. Um, no offense, Sam, but this is, this is kind of between me and Jason. Yeah, I know. I heard. 
I heard you asked Jason for help, and you said that if you didn't get it, you were going to go out and get it on your own, right? No, 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 no. This, this isn't about us. This isn't about you and I. Listen to me. Michael, I, I, I have this girlfriend. Her name is Candy. She's a really, really good girl. And I explained to her your situation, and she totally understands. Wait, did you tell her I want to have sex with her? Yes, I did, okay? She, and she's okay with it. Did you, tell her, did you tell her I went to prison? Of course. And she's, she's okay with that? Yes, I told her everything. Michael, she's, she's a good girl. I really think you're gonna like her. I can't believe we're talking about this. You probably think I'm such a loser right no, now. No, are you kidding? You're handling this way better than most guys. You know, doing. most guys my age don't have a problem, Sam. Michael, I just need a little help. Look, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. This whole idea just seems, it just seems a little hey, too weird. look, you'll be comfortable. I mean, that's what you want, isn't it? Is that her? Yeah, it's her, but if you want to bail, I, I can tell her to go away. It's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? Look at me. Are you sure? Yes, okay. yes, yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay. Hey, hey what's up? How are you? Um, all right, Candy. Um, this is Michael. Michael Candy. Hello, Michael. Hi. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and, um, <laughs> this is, uh, kind of awkward for me, too. Yeah, it was, uh, Sam's idea. Yeah, she told me. But, you know, since I'm here, why don't we get to know each other a little? Uh, so, uh, your, your real name is Candy? Is it? <laughs> it's Abigail. Abby. Oh. Candy just seemed to fit better at the strip club. <laughs> Can I just call you Abby? Sure, that's fine with me. Okay. Why don't we, uh, why don't we sit? I mean, I don't, I don't bite. You know what, uh, Abby? I don't really think I'm ready to be um, touched. Right? I'm way over here on this side of the couch. Just sit wherever you're comfortable, and if you want to move closer, we will. Okay. How's that? It's okay. <clears throat> I'm sure it wasn't easy going back to school after what you went through. Yeah. I mean, most of the time I feel like a freak. Oh, you're anything but. I mean, when Sam first called me, I didn't know what to expect. But you're really cute and nice. <laughs> and you're really easy to talk to. Do you mind if I move a little closer? Uh, I guess not. So, Sam says you're going to a party Saturday night? Uh, yeah. This girl, Allie, invited me. I'm sure you'll have fun. Will they be dancing? Yeah, she has her, her friend DJing the party. <laughs> Are you a good dancer? No. <laughs> Are you sure? You're not just being hard on yourself? No, I'm, I seriously, I'm pretty bad. Well, this I have to see. I mean, is that radio work over there? I'm warning you, I'm really bad. Shall we give it a try? Uh, okay. See, you're doing great. <laughs> How's that? It's okay. See, it wasn't so bad.